Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Ramsey Custom Shop. A little bit of a different kind of video today. Uh, today we're going to be, uh, you guys probably have seen over the years this uh, truck in my video. This is a 2008 F250 FX4 four-wheel drive. And it's got 160,000 miles on it now. And uh, for the purposes of this video, we're going to convert this vehicle to off-road. So we're going to do a DPF delete pipe on it to get rid of the DPF and the uh, all the hassles that come with that and the fact that it's going to be off-road you know you legally from an emissions point of view you don't have to run a DPF so I thought I'd just take you through the unboxing of this I'm gonna have a link in the description of the video on the eBay where I bought this at because if you just do a search on eBay you don't actually find this one and it's quite a bit cheaper and it was recommended to me by a diesel mechanic that's a friend of mine that's put a few of these on so let's just look at it first uh, we'll, we'll unbox it and see what we got and then go from there All right, so it looks like it comes in two pieces that one slips into the other and then they uh, they include this which I'm thinking is gonna be a clamp yep so you just get everything fitted up in your factory location and then you uh, clamp the pieces together so let's uh let's get into the truck and see what we got to do underneath there to uh, go to the next step sorry about the windy day guys all right, so I'm gonna give you a look underneath the truck here. So you see we've got our DPF section that's got the flange on it. And uh, I'm trying to get a look at all this for you. It's kind of windy today. And it may be a little dark under here, but hopefully you can see what we're doing. So that flange end is going to All right, this is our downpipe coming down, and you see the the flange for the deep that starts into the entry section of the DPF. So it's got two bolts here. We're just going to undo those. But I'm not going to show you all this on camera. It's just awkward to get to. It's windy. So as I unbolt everything, I'll just come back and give you updates on it. So we got to unbolt it from here, and then right here, you got a hanger. Actually, right here. see the hanger right here so I think this is gonna be our probably our one of our most difficult parts of it is getting that off the factory hanger but we'll see if we can get it off of there and come back and show you once we get it out all right so I got the old one out of the truck and I just thought I'd pull it in here out of the wind and it's really hard to hold a camera and show you what's going on underneath the truck Thought I would kind of explain it better out here so this is just really for anybody that is putting a dpf delete on your truck and you're looking for a video because you're getting ready to do it it's really nothing to it it's pretty straightforward i can just say what i learned is that you know you this is the down pipe in at the front of the truck working its way into the dpf itself and then this goes back toward the the muffler and you're kind of wedged in there you have this ball and socket connection that's fitted over the ball and then you have this uh, slip or flanged uh, coupling that you have the studs that are pressed in from the backside. So you have, you're wedged in there and then you have this end of the pipe that's slip fitted in. So this whole thing, it kind of ends up being wedged in there. And what I ended up doing is taking this loose, taking all the hangers loose um, and unbolting all these bolts so that the only thing left holding it in was uh was this slip fit here and you see it slips up in there a good two inches or so into the pipe and it's got a clamp on it I had to use some heat on that and an impact to get the uh, that clamp was was really rusted i'm not sure why all the rest of this stuff there's no real rust on it at all or any issues with it but um 
except for that one clamp was rusted. So anyway, um, what I did was I took a ratchet strap and I hooked one end of it on this hanger and the other end of it on the frame rails going toward the back of the truck and ratcheted it until this got fully separated. And you're basically ratcheting against the rear hangers of the exhaust. So you're, you're pulling this whole section back uh, against the rubber hangers, you know, and they hang straight down, but they've got a lot of play in them. So um, you can get that all the way back and then you can slide this first section out and then you can work this whole section out of that two inch coupling there. So um, it's just a deal where, you know, a lot of, a couple of tricky bolts, a couple of just, you know, things in odd spots, you know, just take your time, 30 minutes or so of, you know, a few cuss words and you'll, you'll have it out of there. So let me get this one in and, and fit it up and bolt it in. I'll get into there and just kind of give you a look at what it looks like. And then we'll get it cranked up and see how it sounds. All right, let me get you a little look here. We got it all bolted in. There's the uh, going back to the muffler and hopefully this is going to show up good for you here. Uh, one thing you are going to end up with is uh, you're going to end up with uh, some little pigtails that are going to be hanging down that you want to zip tie up like I did that one there. And here's our joint and the band clamp there. And then uh, our flange, ball and socket flange going into the downpipe. So you'll also end up with uh, the hangers. I think there's one, no, two extra hangers that are not in use. See that one there, nothing is on that. So I'll pull those rubbers off of it or may just unbolt the whole thing right here on the frame rail. Probably what I need to do. I already unbolted one. So yeah, there's, there's that one. So anyway, guys, uh, And you could probably get this whole thing done in an hour if you're like me and you screw things up and have to redo stuff uh took me probably like two and a half hours you know just goofing around and one first one thing and another i ended up taking some stuff off i didn't need to and whatever it's on there so let's uh let's get it cranked up and get a listen to it I mean, I've heard some people say that you really can't notice any difference in the loudness with that on there, but uh, you can definitely uh, definitely tell the difference in it. It sounds good. I mean, it's not overly obnoxious or anything, but it's uh, definitely noticeable. I'll give it a little rev and listen to it. 